Hello everyone, we have two questions here involving doubtful accounts estimation. So the topic is in financial accounting, specifically under the receivables chapter. Now let's proceed with the question number one, and this is about our company having prepared an aging of accounts receivable as of December 31, 20XX. And after preparing the aging of accounts receivable, it was determined that the net realizable value or the NRV of the accounts receivable was 2,500,000. Now, this is in peso, but you may convert it into your local currency or native currency. Now, additional information is available as follows. We have your allowance for doubtful accounts on January 1st for 280000 You have your accounts written off as uncollectible amounting to 230000 You also have your accounts receivable on December 31 for 2700000 And then your uncollectible accounts recovery for 50000 pesos. Now the question is, for the year ended December 31, 20XX, what amount should be recognized as doubtful accounts expense? So we are looking for the doubtful accounts expense. And the choices are letter A, 230,000, letter B, 200,000, letter C, 150,000, or letter D, 100,000. Now, look on the right side of this Excel, I prepared the solution table or the solution template. You may also see here in my solution, I prepared a T account for us to guide each and every one of you in computing for the correct answer, in finding what is the right answer among the four options. Maybe some of you are already familiar with computing for the doubtful accounts expense by playing with the accounts but some may not yet be well off on the topic so we will do it one by one or step by step to guide those who still have difficulty in solving for questions like this. Now remember that the NRV or the net realizable value is given at 2,500,000. If you may remember, in order for us to determine the net realizable value, we have two accounts involved. And this is your accounts receivable. And we subtract the allowance for doubtful accounts. Now, this one is given. It is 2,500,000. Now, look at these figures. Look at the data. And if you will see, this one, accounts receivable on December 31, this is your AR that we have to encode or we have to type in this formula. Therefore, your accounts receivable is 2,700,000, but the net realizable value is 2,500,000. Meaning to say, we have a 200,000 allowance for doubtful accounts because 2,700,000 less 200,000 we will get 2,500,000 being the NRV of your accounts receivable. Now notice that the other data that you will find here are related to your allowance for doubtful accounts. Remember as well that when we are journalizing or when we are recording the doubtful accounts expense, we debit the doubtful accounts expense and we credit allowance for doubtful accounts. So, what is the account that we will have to use here? So, it will be safe to assume that this is allowance for doubtful accounts. Remember that the normal balance of your allowance for doubtful accounts is on a credit side because AFDA or this allowance is a contra asset account. Therefore, in using a T account or any increase to your allowance for doubtful accounts will be reflected on the right side of your T account and any deductions will be reflected on the left side portion. Okay? 
Uh, let's look again on the data. Allowance for doubtful accounts on January 1 is 280,000. This is your beginning balance. You also see here that the allowance for doubtful accounts as of December 31, 20XX is 200,000. And therefore, we have to type it here. This is your ending balance. Let me take this off. Also this one. Let's highlight this one also because it is this one. Whereas the ending balance, we will find it here. How about your accounts written off as uncollectible? When we are writing off accounts receivable, our journal entry will be debit to allowance for doubtful accounts and credit to your accounts receivable because this is the time where the AR or the accounts receivable will not be collected. Therefore, we will have to put this 230000 on the left side of your allowance for doubtful accounts. Let me call on the amount and this is your write-off. Remember once again that the journal entry will be a debit to your allowance for doubtful accounts and a credit to your accounts receivable. That's why we have to put it on the left side of your T account. How about your uncollectible accounts recovery of 50,000 pesos? What is the journal entry? The journal entry is debit accounts receivable and credit allowance for doubtful accounts because it is recovered. Meaning to say, those previously written off amounts will have to be collected because it was recovered. So, we will reverse the journal entry that was made when we write off the account. So, debit, accounts receivable, and credit to your allowance for doubtful accounts. And we tag this one as recovery. We are looking for the doubtful accounts expense. And once again, debit to the doubtful accounts expense and credit to your allowance for doubtful accounts. So we are looking at this amount here. So this is your doubtful accounts expense. So we recompute, we work it back. We have to get the ending balance of 200,000. We add the 230,000. We subtract the 280,000 and we subtract the 50,000. We will get 100,000 pesos and this is your answer for question number one. 100,000 pesos is your doubtful accounts expense. Now to make sure that this is correct, 280,000 plus 50,000 plus 100,000 that is 430,000 and we less the 230,000. The difference is your 200,000 ending balance. So the answer is correct. Okay, now if you have any questions, you may comment down below in the comment section for me to answer your queries. Now let's proceed to the second question and this is all about meal company. And according to the question, meal company's allowance for doubtful accounts was 1 million at the end of 20XX and 900,000 at the end of 20XX minus 1. So what is this 20XX and what is this 20XX minus 1? So that it will be neutral without providing for any specific year. The 20XX is your current year and then the 20XX minus 1 is your previous year. For example, today is 2020. So 2020 minus 1 that is 2019. Meaning to say that is the previous year. For the year ended December 31, 20XX, Mill reported doubtful accounts expense of 160,000 in its income statement. What amount did Mill debit to the appropriate account in 20XX to write off uncollectible accounts? The choices are letter A 60,000, letter B 100,000, letter C 160,000 or letter D 260,000. Now, because this is related to your allowance for doubtful accounts, this is also your allowance for doubtful accounts. So, once again, we will be using the T account for you to be guided properly. 
on how to analyze this question. The beginning balance is given. Let me just type the information. The ending balance is also given. Now, the doubtful accounts expense is also given. The I stands for doubtful accounts expense. Let's look back at the question. Which is which? 1 million. That is your ending balance. So, we have to encode here 1 million at the end of 20xx because this is 20xx and this is 20xx minus 1. Whereas, the 900,000 is your beginning balance. Now, Mill reported doubtful accounts expense of 160,000. Again, debit doubtful accounts expense and credit allowance for doubtful accounts so that we will be putting the 160,000 here. So, let's do the math. 900,000 plus 160,000, that is 1 million and 60,000. We subtract the 1 million, so the difference is 60,000 pesos. And this is your write-off. Okay, so the answer for question number 2 is letter A, 60,000. Remember, when we are writing off an account, we debit allowance for doubtful accounts and we credit accounts receivable. So that's why it is on the debit side. Because the question is, what amount did Mill debit to the appropriate account? And this is your write-off. 60,000 pesos. Okay? So these are the two questions related to estimating doubtful accounts expense. I hope you learned something from it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.